The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. Talking Heads with Naughty is sponsored by the Bahamas Out Island Promotion Board, BTC, Burger King, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, the Quad and Tree Convenience Store, Dunkin' Donuts, the Delta Bank Bahamas, Fine Threads, the Jeff Rogers Basketball Camp, John's Department Store, J.S. Johnson, Joe Chris Wild, KFC, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, and Tropical Jaros. Send them out to the world, go to war on the flu. Out of eye with the enemy, you sworn to shoot. Now I'm coming at your neck, sick of hearing something wrong with me. Wrong with you. When the cheek just way too smart to question. The enemy, the brothers of a dark complexion. The governments of the world, the shark infested. They have the own weaponry like shark and Heston, man. Look, it gets low, man. Uh-huh. No, no, I'm talking about money. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that. So what, what you gonna do? It's my favorite music. Yeah, I'm right on with you. Your logic does not get you. Come on. We're back at you right here on Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. The Tuesday edition is on and popping. You're truly naughty in your company right up until 6 p.m. And uh, you know how we do it, man. Right away, you know, I want to make sure your brain's working. All right. Yeah, we're going to have a good conversation on the ride home. So you know how to chime in. 323-6232, 325-4316, Phone lines are open. Guardian text lines powered by BTC. They're wide open. 422-GR96, 422-4796. Of course, you can stream us live and take us wherever you want to go. GuardianTalkRadio.com. That's GuardianTalkRadio.com. Cable channel 969. BTC Flow Channel 612. So that's how you get it in and that's how you get it on. All right? So again, afternoon to you on this Tuesday. What are we at? The fifth day of July? Time just flying. Just Zoom. Before you know it, it would be in August. Now, if August wants to fly by and get to the last day of the month, that's fine with me. Because, you know, <clears throat> that's next to Christmas. That's the August 31st. That's the, that's the best day on the calendar. Oh, yeah. You got time to talk about it between. So I'm going to get you cranked up with your mind-bending brain teaser. Playing for Joker's Wild Party Passage. Great show over there at the Joker's Wild. Headliner, Gavin Rosenblatt. Featured comedian, Rick Carucci. Yours truly. Funny show from start to finish. Two for one on all locals, so definitely take advantage of that. Tuesday through Sunday. Doors open at 8. Showtime is at 9. We're located between the Carl and the Beach Tower over there at the uh, beautiful Atlantis. So take advantage of that. All you need is your rapid uh, antigen test or your Vax card, and you're good to go for the show. But like I told you, new run starts tonight. Great show, like I said. Davin Rosenblatt is your headliner. Feature comedian is Rich Carucci, and you are truly, all right? So come and get your laugh on. Especially take advantage of it, two for one. And oh, yeah. Maybe not today. But probably by Thursday, I got a huge Laugh Fest 2022 update for you. All right? I'll tell you more about that in, in, in short order. For those of you who've been jonesing for one of them kind of comedy shows, yeah, I'll be coming to you in short order. <laughs> All righty then. Now, uh, where did we go? We got a, we got a couple of options. All right? A couple of good questions here. I want to see how hard I want to make you think today. <laughs> Some of y'all may freak yourself out. It's Tuesday. Okay. Wow. 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 This is shocking. Recent survey of 100 Bahamians, 50 men, 50 women, said they've done this at least once. At least once, but at least once, even though it could come back to haunt you. What is it? 
That is your mind-bending brain teaser. All right? Recent survey, 100 payments, 50 men, 50 women. Survey revealed that 67% said they've done this at least once, even though it could come back to haunt you. What is it? That's your mind-bending brain teaser. Get at me. You got between now and the news and the top of the 5 o'clock hour to get your answers in. Look at you on text nines. Fire, fire to me. Cheat. Steal. None of the above. None of the above. <laughs> Fandusky, you already know, my brother. <laughs> One time for the big Fandusky and the crew got it locked and loaded all the time. One time for my boy Tori as well. Um, no, hey, that's a good answer. Skinny dip, but no, that's not it. So, let's keep it moving while y'all get your answers in. Let's headliners. Who are us making headlines in the 242? All brought to you, of course, by Fine Threads. Fine Threads are new arrivals for you. Both locations. Top of Hill, Mackey Street, the flagship store, and the Southway Shopping Plaza. And don't forget... When you buy any jeans, a denim jean, all right, pants, or outfit, you get the next one of, of equal or lesser value absolutely free. You buy, one's men, buy one men's suit or one men's suit package, you're going to get a boy's package, half price. All right, both locations. Check all the goodness that's going on at, uh, going on at Fine Threads out online. Simply by logging on to finethreads.com, do your shopping online, then arrange for pickup and at any one of those convenient Fine Thread locations. Like I said, flagship store, Top of the Hill, Mackey Street, or the Southwest Shopping Plaza. Both locations open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. All right, before we get to the, to the headliners, who are what's making headlines in the 242, what's blazing up the pages of the Nassau Guardian News and Views that Matter since 1844. Let's go to the phone lines. Let's see the phone lines ringing away. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, Naughty, how you doing? I'm good. Who's this? That's a call of the day. Hey, hey just a call of the day. Probably a call of tomorrow. All right. Probably was a call of yesterday. What's going on? Um, you know, I would like if you can get the Minister of Transportation, I think it is, of, of Transportation, to come on your show. Boy, I don't know, but that one. I, see, I, I, got, I got some issues with oil. You see what I mean? Yeah, because I, I think one of your issues may be my issue, too. Yeah, but, you know, because I got issues. Because <laughs> I would like to know. One-on-one -on -one with the naughty one, you know what I mean? But I like, boy, I, I appreciate a brother like you. I might as well tell you, because they no more time for playing, you know what I mean? Uh, they aren't, I mean, last time I checked, it works for us, so we should at least be able to ask questions. What do you say? Yes, sir. So what you got for me? I mean, why would you want them on the show? Let me see if I can facilitate it, you know? Well, I would like to know. And I would, I'd like for him to, to, to explain to the Bahamian people why the driver's permit for these young people is so difficult, right? Um, I hear a lot of people saying that young people are causing a lot of harm. Yeah, but that doesn't give them the right to deny the um, citizens' rights. And it's very, uh, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of people, uh, young people and parents who take these young kids down there could attest to what I'm saying. That, all right, first of all, I understand that there's no app for the kids to, to, to really study, basically. And then also there's no book. Now, there's books out there. I, I see it in the book, but when they get down there, it's something totally different altogether. So how they intend, how they expect for these kids to even pass the test um, if, if there's nothing for them to study? Not only that, most of these children don't know nothing about a computer. Fine, I'm not debating that part of it. But why so difficult? I mean, who's really pushing this agenda? Most of the, most of the kids, this permit... Some, you have to be with someone who can drive anyways. So why is this so difficult? Why is life getting so difficult in the Bahamas? It Sorry, seems like, it seems like the, the ease of access for business is for, you know, foreign <laughs> entities with a briefcase and, you know, it ain't yeah, what you know but who you know as far as the local playing field goes, you know, so there you have it. Well, good naughty. I mean, I really didn't want to go this road, but like I said, I love you, brother, because, you know, you're like mine. Because what I'm saying is, most of the time when I was going to go for you, my life and things like that, I don't see none of these, these big-time faces on the line sweating and things like that. So how do they get it? Or none of these lines on these major lines. And if you think back, think about it. How many MPs or any big people you see on these, on most or any, any of these lines to get, like when we sweating together, these things done? How many? 
And so, obviously, I, I, I guess they must be on the other line, the lunch line, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not mean you could go all day at this, man, but it, I, I mean, I mean, try to, all right. If he bowl, let him be accountable. Let him, I'm sure a lot of parents, not even the kids. But listen, you referring to, 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 to the Minister of Transportation is he, but it's actually... Um, road traffic. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about Are you thinking of road traffic? All right, because, you know, the Minister of Transport and Housing is the no. Honorable Joe Beth Kobe Davis, the MP for, for Elizabeth. No, I, I'm talking... So, yeah, I, I, you know, me and I got issues with oils <laughs> from prior, you know, Joe's. So I, I, don't, I don't know about that, but you say, now, now you say it's road traffic. Well, I don't know which one it really is, but I know between those two, we'll, feel, we'll find out which one when you start investigating. But wouldn't really, really. road traffic fall under the Ministry of Transportation? Well, it should. So it then I guess, I guess, well, you know, all the dots connect eventually, you know. I, that's right. And if one phone call will tell you, well, not me, it's the next one. It only could be two, right? I mean, I know we have four and five of these, but I mean, it should be only... Because I really don't want to speak to the second man in charge because it's clear to me that the person that really running this... Really, really, really is having, like, it's a joke to them because I, I suspect this costing these kids, and I suspect somebody like this to speak, you know, and it's another tax. And these kids who don't have this kind of money is crying. See, it's go deeper than that. It's crying. And then you know? that, that could turn to more people, you know, just doing what they got to do, riding on the road without, you know? Well, take, but let me, let me, Until let me, that let me, time comes, because you let know. Me show you how, let me show you how good you is to keep you on the track you want. That was that was the statement of the lot of a lot of the frustrated kids. That's what they said. Now guess what? It, guess why I think the the big conspiracy. So now these young people, you frustrate these young people. But when the simple, like I say, you got to drive with somebody like so. What's this big deal? All right. So so if you frustrate these young people, they go and they do this thing illegally. Then the police come and get them. This big conspiracy. Then you charge them some big money. Say they drive no license. This is a big conspiracy. They need to stop. This is our country, not your loan. Yeah, not and the defense and the, the, the government to sit back like many, many. I don't even want look, I, I, I plan not to go. You, hey, hey, not even cost me. Not even, I can take a break. Yeah, man, take the break and call me back tomorrow, but I get where you're going. All right? And I appreciate your contributions as always, man. So as we continue with the uh, headlines, like I said, all brought to you. Who was making headlines in the 242? All brought to you by Fine Threads, the biggest one jumping out. Prepare for more police shootings. Story by Jasper Ward in today's uh, Guardian. This coming from the Minister of National Security. Monroe predicts more criminals will engage in conflict with police. Minister of National Security Wayne Monroe yesterday advised Bahamas to brace for more police-involved shootings as police beef up resources to combat increased crime. We can expect them to have more manpower resources, Monroe told the uh, Nassau Guardian. That will not stop people who have decided that either one, they are going to be involved deliberately in gangs and engaged in street war, or, as we've been seeing in some of the homicides, people just don't seem to be able to control their temper and stab people over a fight or shoot people over a fight. That won't stop it. The police apprehending them being more on the spot won't stop it. The more resources the police have to be available on the spot may actually have the effect of you having more police-involved shootings, which the public should prepare itself for. The incoming commissioner has forewarned that as the police get more resources to be more saturated on the streets, as people decide to continue to drive around with firearms, there is an ability for them to get into conflict with police and with the intended, res with the intended result. And so we have said at this moment, as they get more resources, manpower and otherwise, the public ought to be aware that, what may, that, may, that may be something that may happen. Wow. Now. I need to hear from you on this, my talking is, because to me, we're on a very, very Willenda-like tightrope right here. Because nobody wants to see extrajudicial killings. And, and to me, and I get, and in no way in my shape or form attacking the Royal Bahamas Police Force, Incoming Commissioner of Police, Mr. Fernando, or the Minister of National Security. I get it. The message is out. Crime is high. We're going to combat it. We're going to add more resources. There may be incidents. If people engage the police force while we're out there on these patrols and, and, and beefing up resources, there may be more incidents.
I get all of that. But at the same time, it's a very tight rope you walk in there. So what I would suggest, that in using all these resources and manpower and beefing up and with the potential of more incidents, uh, incidents and potential engagement with the police and police shootings, then we employ and utilize all of the things that we the citizens paid for Shot spotter, drones, body cams. Listen, I'm with the new cop. I'm with the new commissioner of police. We got to get out there. We got to saturate the streets. We got to, you know, bring crime down. Make sure, Commissioner Fernando, please, and congratulations on the new posting. Please. Ensure the body cams work. And they remain functioning and they remain on and the data recorded is recorded to the T. God forbid your officers have an incident that you described. And the Minister of National Security reinforced. Because yes, crime does need to go down. I get the, the gang element and, and the, the criminal element is highly motivated into doing what they're going to do. They're fully loaded, fully armed. We get all of that. We must govern correctly and how it's supposed to be done. Let's go to the phone line. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's that? A pleasant good afternoon, Mr. Naughty. What you got for me, Sparky? We got to keep it quick today because we got plenty of stuff going on. What you got for me, though? Well, I'm trying to keep it quick. You need to get some of them other fellas before me to keep it quick, too. But anyway, <laughs> it's a new day. Um, anyway, you know, there's something I've been concerned about because as I'm late, I ain't getting no younger. And I still have to visit places and I have to go up steps. And I noticed there's a lot of government places that they rent places, but they have nothing like an elevator or escalator for elderly people to get up steps. I noticed also with my, my situations, like you always say before, I noticed where you pull in certain parking lots and everything, there's a lot of people parking in the handicapped spots. Yes, sir. The supermarkets, the, uh, the, the hardware stores, uh, of these places, you know, even the pharmacies. You know, when you've got an elderly person who have a back problem or a leg problem, have to walk nearly the whole distance of the parking lot to get the place. And there's no wheelchairs inside. they got to stand up to make to be served, all that type of thing. And then there's another thing that I'm trying to work on. In fact, today, Naughty, we're supposed to be having a meeting in Friday State Park with the Minister of Youth, Sports, and Culture trying to bring back an old thing that I did for the kids, me and my, my friend Barry Sawyer and the Pigs, back about maybe 20 years ago in Port Charlotte, um, where we did something we referred to as Kites and Gadgets. That's right, I remember that. Yeah, yeah we did it three years ago. I don't know how, it's, how difficult it's going to be now. The sponsors that helped us back then are very shy because everybody cut and caught. Uh-huh. And, and, you know, it ain't much given away these days. You know, it's hard to get a sponsor to help, even if it's to help the kids during the summer. But we suppose I'll just meet in the day to discuss this, where we're going to try and bring the kids back about on the port, maybe one Saturday, open with the press and the national anthem, and open with Junkanoo, close with Junkanoo, and spend a day with the kids up there. Let's teach them how to do the old things we did when we were kids, other than sit down and play video games, teach them how to fly, kite, shoot marbles, Hula hoop, spin top, how box car, race, skate, all them kind of things that we don't see no more when the children used to run up and down and exercise all day. Now everybody eating a bunch of sugar, a bunch of foolishness, and sitting before the TV playing video games, getting fat, ending up with diabetes and heart at 12 years old and they have a pressure problem and thing. It's all just insane. And we continue to do this. And the parents know, but they allow these children to do this. But we tried to get that back, too. But, you know, I wish 
we can all get together. I mean, we can do another Independence 49th. Let all of us, not even before I go, I must say this, but I want all Bahamians to be, to celebrate this one. We might not see the 50th one. All Bahamians. When I say all Bahamians, I don't care if you're Chinese, Indian, white, black, green, yellow. If you're a Bahamian, let's hold on and take part. Help the government, help the country. We need to rebuild the country. And we got to do it all together. Forward, onward, upward, together. I agree with you, Sparky. Regardless of political affiliation, if we come to country building, if you're really serious, you got to do it together. If you... And you're gone. But Sparky, I appreciate you. Keep me posted on the Fort Charlotte kite trips and getting the kites going back up there. That sounds like a, like a good idea. All right, we're going to wrap up the buzz right here, brought to you, of course, by John Shoes. And John reminds you that uh, in addition to all of your fast fashions, your workwear, all of the accessories to match, John's now has uh, cookware and small home appliances as well for you. All right, available at John's, both locations, John's Plaza Car Michael and the flagship store over there on Rosetta today. Mr. Producer, take me to the first break. As we get out, man, let me hit you up with a couple of the texts real quick on the text line. Great show as usual, Naughty. You think these criminals know when they get locked up that that woman will have relations on them and also what was promised on the outside, they won't get on the inside? Uh, are they really willing to die for all of this? Here's another one. Naughty, I want to make a comment. Um, some of y'all Bahamian people don't know how to act. And because of your action and antisocial behavior, I would like to soon leave the island and go to Luthra and be around the civil people. Mango skin woman, so I will text your show for me, Luther. Oh, God. Text me from North Palmetto Point. That's from the Grand Park KM Thompson was from. So, you know, go up there and send me a text. Naughty tell Sparky, that's a great idea with the kites, but you all got to put some uh, later time for that. The sun is dead hot these days. It's at least 200 degrees outside. You're trying to get each stroke of the kite to melt. <laughs> Naughty, I'm up two minds. Wayne Monroe is being very practical and logical in his statement regarding an increase in police-involved shootings. The problem is he forgets that his position as a minister and an agent of the government is not wise to speak with such candor because the public will hang on to every syllable he says and potentially misconstrue or misinterpret sometimes to his demise. Indeed. All right, last one. Good day. The Minister of National Security Statement shows the lack of creativity and how reactive our way of thinking and reading the situation is. By saying there would be more police-involved shootings implies that the only solution is to wage war on the street. Yes, we have violent criminals that need to be put down, but they are the minority of the population. Waging all-out war will affect the majority of the population, possibly with innocent bystanders being caught in the crossfire, not to mention innocent people being unjustly treated and shot. I support zero tolerance, but addressing the situation needs to be multifaceted, including a gun amnesty turn-in program, executions, reinforcing community confidence, and support zero, and support the police in zero tolerance. All right, there you have it. That's some good stuff. All in all, my talking heads, all right, right here on uh, Guardian Radio. We'll pick it up on the flip side of the break. Those folks calling in, call me right back after the break. We'll get you in and we'll get you on. Talking Ads continues right after this. Girl, you see how Cora eye look funny all black up yesterday? But she say she bumped into a wall when she's running after the churn them. Yeah, but last Saturday, you see her arm was all black and blue, right? What you saying? You think something warm between her and Jack? I ain't sure, but you know Jack is a jealous man. I hear him and Cora last Friday. I hear him say he hear Cora have eyes for Junior. Now, you know that ain't true. Cora is a good woman, does mind her business, take care of them churn, and go to church every Sunday. So what you think we should do? I think we should report Jack, you know. Cora don't say nothing, but silence hides violence, and we don't want to line up in the cemetery. Not me. I ain't getting in nobody business then Jack come after me and I line up next to Cora. No, ma, we could call a text crime stopper. And remember, we can even get some grocery money for our tip. Remind me again how does this work? We can call them in Miami at 328 tips or 32884 toll free at 300 tips or 308477. And if you don't have no minutes, use the Crack Crime Bahamas app and we could text them and the messages get on mix up mix up before it leave your phone so nobody can know what you saying. So we wait on then let's go earn some grocery money need to satisfy your late night munchies 
KFC drive throughs are open and frying until midnight every night of the week. Whether you're craving juicy KFC chicken, fries, and biscuit, or one of our signature KFC sandwiches, we've got you covered with 100% KFC flavor. Catch some late night vibes and take a ride to your neighborhood KFC for after dark satisfaction. Last call to get fueled by KFC fried chicken is midnight. Late night cravings at KFC Nassau. It's finger licking good. George Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy stuff. We cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online. www.johnshoes.com John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on in today at John's. Where we put fashion at your feet. Fidelity, we're good for you. We know how important collecting your money can be to the success of your business. Start your relationship with Fidelity today so that we can show you the many options available to you with our merchant services. From click and pay options online to merchant terminals and e commerce options. We're here to help your business succeed. For more details, speak to one of our business development officers at 356-7764 in Nassau or 352-6676 in Freeport. Visit our website at fidelitygroup.com. Hello? Can you show you something else, boy? Who this is? Tamika? You don't even remember my name? Wow, Dred. Girl, I've been so busy. You still planning a trip? Girl, and I can't wait. I right here online booking my car. You dare planning a trip. You vaccinated. Girl, we had to. We ain't been nowhere since this pandemic started. Girl, let me get a 14-day vacation. Best vacation ever. <laughs> Girl, are you bro? Well, I know you was going to get the vaccine because you too like travel. When y'all get your vaccine? Girl, long time. Because you got to get your first dose. Wait. Then get your second dose at least two weeks before you travel. Johnny get his vaccine and he 12. Even Grammy get hers. <laughs> Child and Grammy say she ain't get no money. But I see her hiding under the mattress. Child, let me send my list because I know you going in shopping. He should not play with me. Vaccinate today, live tomorrow. A message by Paho WHO, Canada and USAID. Get ready for more iced coffee temptations at Dunkin'. More delectable aromas and more exciting flavors so you can get more refreshment from every cup. Enjoy the flavors of butter roasted pecans and sweet cream combined with Dunkin' Original Blend Iced Coffee. Or try our cake batter signature latte combining smooth, rich espresso with a spoon-licking good cake batter flavor topped with whipped cream, mocha drizzle, and rainbow sprinkles for a party in every cup. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, and right now, let's go to the phone lines real quick. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Naughty, how you doing? I'm good, man. What's happening? Great. Naughty, let me ask you a question. Uh, do you believe our police force is, is overwhelmed? I don't want to say overwhelmed. I think uh, resources aren't being utilized properly which could probably make them feel overwhelmed. Uh, strategically, we're not using the right strategy, I think, so maybe that might make some officers feel overwhelmed. So, yeah, indirectly, yeah, maybe they're overwhelmed indirectly. Okay, so in, in cases like that, if a police force is overwhelmed, uh, what, what, what's the next step when a police force is overwhelmed? You got to change what you're doing. You got to change the strategy. You got to maximize what you got. Martial law, my brother. No, 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 no. I know that seems very severe. Eh? No, 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 no. We don't. We, yeah. I don't like to say that. I don't like to say uh, you know extrajudicial uh -huh. killings. You know, come on, uh -huh. man. We, we in the Philippines. No disrespect uh -huh. to my Filipino uh -huh. people there, but I know you was gonna say that. Now let me ask you another question. Why you know I was gonna say that? I know you. I know you's gonna go there. You see, you see, you back off there. 
So what do you think the criminal? No, no, no. I, 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 I didn't you back off. off. Oh, wait a minute. I, I opened the show saying we don't want to see extrajudicial killings. It's a tie. It's it's a okay. like like tightrope. You don't want to see that. It, okay. So I'm not backing okay. off from it. But in any case, when a police force, a civil force, is overwhelmed, okay. then calls for martial law in any country. Martial law. Uh, it's called for after that. Now, let me ask you another question. And then you, some, you know some of the derivatives that could come from martial law, right? I know, because it, 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 it affects the entire country. It affects the number one industry, which is tourism. That, that, that's broad-based. Right. So let me, let me search a criminal. No, but no, drones can uh, actually... They, they, can drones prevent uh, you... Say you have the intentions in your mind to go and kill someone. Can a drone stop you from doing that? Potentially. How? This is your mind. You're home. You're sitting down. You're thinking. You have a gun. And you say, I know where this boy can be. Let me go kill him. Can a drone stop you from doing that? Maybe the drone can't stop me from, from, you know, Doing the act, but after the act, if the, the yeah, that's after that's yeah, the but but if we you use the technology to that we have for, no, for the aftermath, we need to be proactive. So what you we saying? Just kill whoever you think and, whoever you think is a criminal and call it a day. I, I, no, no, I didn't say that. We need to be proactive and not reactive. Okay, and body cameras are good. But, but what I, I'm I, saying is the manpower that needs to be out there, and probably the minister of national security is sending an indirect message indirect message to the criminals out there. And in that, that statement you heard him make, that may be an indirect message in a light way to the criminals out there. That's all I'm saying. But you can look at that message too, that, that, that in a direct way it's saying, it's saying other things too. Yeah, but I, I believe it was point on. Because you need to see what, what's going on in this country today, you can't be soft about it. You need to be real and harsh about it. And you need, and you need people in authority to stand up and speak to it and act on what they're saying. So that could be an indirect message to the criminals. I like it. Thank you, sir. Okay. Always like your contributions, man. But at the end of the day, what message is it sending? You know, shit, stuff is hectic on the street right now. So you have more people engaging the police. The police going to be out there saturating the streets. You know how the elements go, especially the criminal elements. So it's going to be, you know, some, some altercations. So be prepared for it. You talk about being proactive. Can we be proactive in other ways too, though? Not just jump into that, because now, if it's, if it's a case of the technology that we paid for working for us to our advantage, then by all means do it. But then the, the body cams need to be on, the spot shotter needs to be used, the drones need to be used with whatever footage they get. So we know exactly what transpires. Because when you make a blanket statement like this, now innocent people could become victims because of scenarios that might not be the case. Bad intelligence. Wrong place at the wrong time. So on and so forth. But where we're in the, in the kill zone, they could become victims. Another statistic. So again, we're walking a Willenda-like tightrope with this. Let's go to the other cause. Talking as Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, good day, Tony. How are you doing? What's happening? All right, all right. So the last caller, like, uh, I understand what he's saying, but that's from looking at it from a... From a, from a uh, the wrong side of the, you know, from the wrong side of the binoculars. Because if you have drones, just like right now you have Junkano and Independence Day, people just go parking all over the place in these little dark areas. But in nine times of a 10, if a drone, we have 21 by 7. And if you have a, a swarm of drones, that make it less likely of a go, well, a drone over this parking lot or a drone over uh, Mason or distance. Why they have drones here? Or they have drones there? Right. They, they more likely. You know what? We can't go in Mason to kill this place because they got drone in there. You know, That's why I said potentially it, it, it could stop him. And then in some cases, like like to his point, you know, okay, if you got, got it in for me and you get me, okay, fine. 
But right. now, if the technology that we're talking about is in use, spot shutter, drones, body cams, you will inevitably be, should be caught. And you have to have a process to be able to respond. If you have a, sh- a, a gun shot off or whatever, the police stand in Foxville or whatever, or, where, or wherever it is, and it happened like last night in, in Rock Russia, who will respond? How do you have any effective process in, in place to respond in, in a speedy time, a speedy manner of time to be able to apprehend or whatever? And let, let me just say this before I go on. I ride around NASA all day today, and I see no police car yet. Not one. You understand? So, have I been well for the micro road all over NASA? I see no police car yet. So, that's already a problem. It's I hear they all in call Michael. According to my taxes, they all in call Michael. Oh, well, I understand it. But what I'm saying is, if you don't, if you don't have police everywhere at all times, you go on camp road, you sure you can see one patrol car there. If you go on, on East Street, you will see two or three there. On the micro road, you see five. You understand? If they spread out like that, then you stand a chance. But right now, you know, it's like how they moving, it ain't making no sense. Like, it just, you know what I mean? It just, like you say, that's one thing you said, right? It's just acting like a fireman. You're waiting for a fire to go put it out. Yeah, you, you got to be proactive rather than reactive. No, exactly. no, exactly. Know where to so, push, the bush dry, go wet that down before you get a brush fire. Exactly. So what the, to his point is, unless you have to change the way, if something broke, you got to fix it. You kind of keep doing it. How you doing it? And Change the playbook, but when you do it, you know what I mean, and you're gonna say it, it could get kind of risky. Then you know, I some of us will say, "Make sure now, mm-hmm. you you know, be careful in this tight road you walk in, because you don't I want innocent people business, caught up right? in that." I am the security business. My job is to think like how the teeth look in. So if I come to your establishment, I look in how the people can break in, what you need to move out the way, what you need to secure, what you need to do. That not to say that's a hundred percent foolproof, but that limited. That limit there, and then some people they go for the easy access. So they might, if you got cameras around their place, you got a dog, they do, you got one shotgun, they, they, all these things is deterrent. They ain't no 100%, but people more likely say, just don't go in Mr. Brown yard, because we know what's going to happen over there. We go knock off that old woman around the corner when you don't want it. Like, yeah, that's how they thinking. You understand? So that's, that's how you, the police need to change the way they police. That's the bottom line. And he ain't got, like, how you going to lock me down? I ain't do nobody nothing. I ain't never been in no deal. How you going to lock me down? Because a couple of the doors over here doing foolishness. Do your job. Like, if it ain't waking, fix it. Put more police. Yeah, put more police. Get creative and more strategic. Exactly. Different <laughs> options. All right, man. No problem, man. Thanks for your call. All right. We got to get to commercial break. Obviously, you know, we can talk to Sarah Kirk. We ensure the water right probably after the news now because we got to hear from Freeport. Joe been hot and contributing real well, my talking ads. Good stuff. And I think this topic is definitely going to be one that continues for a while because there's many layers to this onion. And all the good points, all the good angles, but we got to find the best one to make it work. So we're going to take a quick break, and on the flip side of breaking, what I got for you before we get to the news, I'll have an answer for your trivia. Checking your answers now on the text lines, and you know what we got coming up, man. All brought to you, of course, by the Island Game. We got Cuban Willie's numerology report. You leave on the flip side of the break. Keep it right where you got it. Talking heads. Don't touch it. Ready for more with the new tomato pesto grilled cheese sandwich at Dunkin'. More delicious ingredients and more vibrant new flavors. So you can get more out of every moment. The Dunkin' Tomato Pesto Grilled Cheese Sandwich features oven roasted tomatoes, pesto spread, and melted cheddar cheese. Sandwiched between two slices of authentic toasted sourdough bread. For flavors that are bold and bright, the Dunkin' Tomato Pesto Grilled Cheese Sandwich is tomato pesto perfection. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. Refined style with elegant taste, then fine threads is your place. If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist, then fine threads is your place. If you want to look suave and debonair everywhere you go, like you're supposed to be in a video. Want to step out and look great? Then fine threads is your place. With fine style, with elegant taste. Then fine threads is your place. Is your place. Is your place. 
The most important thing in life is family. And whenever you need reliable advice, you look to the people you know you can trust. At J.S. Johnson Insurance Agents and Brokers, we earn our clients' trust every day. Whether it's home, motor, travel, or commercial insurance, we've got you covered. Call 397-2100 or visit jsjohnson.com. When I had got prostate cancer, my family didn't know if I was going to live at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Within days, I got an appointment, treatment options, and we set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there are no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number, they see you as a part of family. I'm going on with my life. It's a real gift. Call us at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Need to satisfy your late night munchies? KFC drive throughs are open and frying until midnight every night of the week. Whether you're craving juicy KFC chicken, fries and biscuit, or one of our signature KFC sandwiches, we've got you covered with 100% KFC flavor. Catch some late night vibes and take a ride to your neighborhood KFC for after dark satisfaction. Last call to get fueled by KFC fried chicken is midnight. Late night cravings at KFC Nassau. It's finger licking good. Girl, you see how Cora eye look funny all black up yesterday? But she say she bump into a wall when she's running after the churn them. Yeah, but last Saturday, you see her arm was all black and blue, right? What you saying? You think something warm between her and Jack? I ain't sure, but you know Jack is a jealous man. I hear him and Cora last Friday. I hear him say he hear Cora have eyes for Junior. Now, you know that ain't true. Cora is a good woman, does mind her business, take care of them churn, and go to church every Sunday. So what you think we should do? I think we should report Jack, you know. Cora don't say nothing, but silence hides violence, and we don't want to line up in the cemetery. Not me. I ain't getting in nobody business then Jack come after me and I line up next to Cora. No, ma, we could call a text crime stopper. And remember, we can even get some grocery money for our tip. Remind me again how does this work. We can call them in Miami at 328-TIPS or 328-8477. Or when we in the island call toll free at 300-TIPS or 300-8477. And if you don't have no minutes, use the Crack Crime Bahamas app and we could text them and the messages get on mix up, mix up before it leave your phone so no Nobody can know what you're saying. So we're we'll waiting on then. Let's go earn some grocery money. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. We're back at you right here on Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. All right, here we go. Here's the rundown. A couple of things for you. First things, for those of you who chimed in with the, with the trivia question, good answers, awesome answers. None were right. So I'm going to motivate you tomorrow. You're going to play for two sets of Joker's Wild Party Passes. Not one, but two sets of Joker's Wild Party Passes. All right? That's number one. Number two. The answer, we all had some great answers, but the answer was go through their significant other's cell phone. 67% said they did it. Even though it could come back to haunt them, bite them in the butt, they did it. Good answers, but not the one I was looking for. All right, let's go to this call real quick because we got to get the free getting the, the Freeport report in. And I appreciate our patience today, but you all really been chiming in. You all hot up on these topics today. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Gardner, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on, Gardner? Yeah. You know, I, I feel like, like the minister was wrong, man. Uh, elaborate. Why 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 you feel that way, Gardner? Yeah, he, he, he needs to, need to, 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 to talk about the necessary necessity for, for, body, for, 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 for body camps. Ah, if you go in that route, make sure that the body cams are in place. Right. Now, and now functioning you, and working and don't get cut off conveniently. Right. If you got to kill, if you got to kill a, a suspect, I mean, because he shoot at you, you understand me? That's all good. But then you still must have, have evidence of that. Correct. That, that can happen in the United States. That can only happen in countries like this. You see? And like, like, man... 
But I mean, you know, Rodney, you got you to gotta, you gotta look how it plays out. I mean, we have a brand new commissioner of police today. You know, Mr. Fernanda is assumed that position. So obviously, you know, he, these are some implemented, but let's see how effective they are and obviously how, how, uh, how efficiently they're pulled off. And, man, Adi, they need to take the resources and put, put, put the resources in the prison to deal with the recidivism. Yep. That's yep. what they need to do. You see, and they need to legislate a livable wage for, for, for them ghetto youth. You see, they need to, they need to go and put, put uh, uh, sporting activities, proper sporting activities in the schools. Yep. Them get a youth. Not 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 only the, the, the what you call it the, the, the leagues, you know, they need school leagues. You see West of Mario for its proper uh, 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 what you call it a uh, 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 sponsoring of the Mario Ford and the Mikey Butler and, and more. Right. You know, all those I see all those guys out there who who don't the whole time software. They need to get involved just them who we need. You see in, in the city. You know with those leagues. You see what I'm saying? I got you. I got you, God, but we in that same fight. You know that, brother. Use my comrade in that one for sure. Now uh, let's go to Freeport real quick because we do have Sarah Kirkby from the uh, Grand Bahama News, and, and I appreciate our patience today. So I hope all is well down in Grand Bahamas, but it is hot in town today, boy. <laughs> the Minister <laughs> of National <laughs> Security got people people commenting galore today. I've been hiding in my air conditioning all day. I don't know. <laughs> so what you what you got good for me in Freeport? What's good in Freeport? Give me the good, the bad, and the ugly. We we're 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 right there with you with the crime. The good news is we have had a uh, over the weekend we had a really great. Uh, the police did a fantastic job. They apprehended uh, both that we had had issues with, which was great, and they also caught the burglars, and then they also caught the young man who unfortunately abducted the child. So um, terrifying um, with that, but um, it was good to know that the police have caught everybody. They've actually all been arraigned as well. And um, so that is That's good. good to know. The good, the good news on that. <laughs> right. Uh, and that was, you know, that's good to know that those incidents are made headlines up here. So it's good to know that the, the police have done their due diligence in Grand Bahama and brought yeah. all of those those suspects in. Yeah, it is. It, and it makes everyone who was who were really, really worried. But unfortunately, the same time that happened, then there was a, um, a robbery last night. So let's see what happens. You know, obviously, everybody needs to be very careful and vigilant and uh um, you know, the one that scared me the most, obviously, which is terrifying all the parents and anybody is the abduction of this, of the child. I mean, the fact that the parents had cameras in their house was amazing. If you didn't have that, how would they I, know? I read the story and I, it's just amazing. Yeah. Like it was the father is phenomenal, but it's still terrifying to think that someone would do that. And it makes me think back to the story we talked about last week about mental health and how important it is. Uh, for people to have it. And it is definitely you know, real here in this country, and we need it it's on, on multiple levels, multiple age brackets, and it really needs to be looked at more by, by administrations. It does, and we need to protect women more, so that's the bigger story for me there. Uh, I agree so with I'm going to take it to a lighter note. Now, I'll take it to, uh, we were really, really pleased to find out, not pleased, but we were pleased to be able to share with our readers that there currently, as far as we know, there is no sale going on for Old Bahama Bay with the Kingwood group. Now the Kingwood group were doing the reunion K and they were wanting to they're going to put down in West End, which seemed a little bit over the top for the area and not really fitting with the quaint, beautiful side of West End. Um, so we understand and have had it on authority from um, the gentleman who's running Old Bahama Bay, uh, John McDonald, that uh, the, the Kingwood group was rejected but the, the good news is, is there is a new group already in the wings waiting to take, a, to hopefully get that development. And their lead person on it is a Bahamian who is, uh, really wants to come home and start this project, we understand. Well, that's good stuff. And more stuff it for is. Freeport that could get online for 2025 and beyond. It would be amazing. Uh, the, uh, you know, Old Bahama Bay has been suffering for a long time since the Ginsta Mayor project took over. It was going to be this amazing thing that happened in the Anchor Project in 2011, and then Bobby Ginn went bankrupt, and so that stopped everything, and it's kind of been on hold. So it is very good to know, and it would be great for the people in West End as well 
you know, they've been missing it since the way back in the uh, Jack Tar Village and all the, uh, this, you know, the, the hotel when it really was in its heyday years and years and years ago. I remember the Jack Tar, they, that was one of the big booming resorts down there. It was, it was huge. And it was like the place to go to. And it was a massive hotel at the time. So it's, you know, a bit crazy. Uh, to think it's not there. The other good news, you'll be happy to know that we are now have a flight that's going directly from Orlando. I saw to that Grand to Grand Bahama. Bahama. Yeah. I like that. Very, and the price is very good too. So how much from Grand Bahama to Orlando? I think it says it's two sixty seven or two seventy eight was the price that's I not, saw. That's not bad. That, no, it's fantastic. That's so cheaper than NASA to Miami right now. Because <laughs> we've all been flying to NASA to catch flights, so I'm very excited. And the shopping's very good in Orlando, but also it would be great, obviously, for tourists to come this way. And then also, um, you know, we just hope the service is great and, you know, throw it out there. Hope it's on time. <laughs> all right. And, of course, you know, I, I got to do this each and every, every Tuesday. Spend the money. Stop looking That's for right. it for free. Buy the Guardian. And you get the supplement. That's how it goes. It goes. And but this week, you know what? We're doing so well. I think you're you're getting people the news out there for Minotti. We had more ads than we've ever had before. And Candia let us have two more stories this week. So we did a story on the first uh, girls only soccer camp here, which is organized by Mary Knowles and her husband Donnie Knowles. Big up to Mary and Donnie, man. That's that's my niece's uh, old coach, and she was a national team member and a. Heck of a soccer player, so big up to them, too, for sure. Yeah, they're amazing, and Donnie was an international goalie. Uh, so they've been they've been the foundation for soccer here in Grand Bahama, and, and they're also responsible for just getting keeping girls in sports. John Quill Jones is one of their girls, um, as well as uh, the swimmer. Why am I forgetting her name? And she's uh, all part of that group. They've all played soccer uh, sport in your life, which I think is very good, and just like it is for young men, it's great for young girls as well. It builds their character and makes them very independent. And um, all the other, the last story was um, a really nice one. Uh, Lady Sue McCray, who's been here for years, she's a Nassau native, but moved here to go to high school with her family. And she's a great writer. And she got um, awarded one of the top Caribbean awards. She was in the top three. And it's a nice story about Sue and her career and how well she's doing fantastic Bahamian writer. She writes plays, she writes poems, uh, and books as well. She's actually published in, um, I think she's part of the uh, education system for the Bahamas as well, part of her reading. So that's good news for us in Grand Bahamas. That is really good stuff all the way down this week. Oh, thanks again for chiming in. I appreciate your, par- uh, your patience, Sarah. Crazy day up here in, in, in the capital, and uh, you know, I, we got the phone line still blowing up, and I know what they want to talk about. So thanks for yeah. chiming in and bringing us up to snuff on, on everything in Grand Bahama with the Freeport Report. And uh, we'll look forward to next Tuesday with a more in-depth sit-down with you, all right? I, I appreciate the time you give us every Tuesday, and uh, I can understand why you're getting all these call-ins today. And by the way, I am with, oh, why am I forgetting his name, on the handicap parking. We have got to stop it. People are doing it all over. We will send me pictures from Freeport, but get them out there, too. Oh, I will. I'll send them. Okay. You, you, know, you know, you know, yeah, you bring them up and I'll fling them out there and get them out there. Bring them down and get them out of the blue. That's what they need to do. Excellent. I agree. All right. Thanks so much for chiming in. We'll talk soon. Thank you. No worries. All right. Now, before we get to the break, Mr. Producer, let me get to the text lines. We got some good text chiming in as well. Uh, the Jack Tar Hotel was swinging in the early 70s and 80s. My daddy was the assistant manager during that time, Mr. Joseph Cartwright. Well, big up to you and Mr. Cartwright as well, man. So you know what I was talking about, man. And uh, the, the stories were legendary about that place, man. Naughty, uh, I really think we need more fresh-thinking minds in charge of this modern-day police force. What we did in the past will not work today. Too much old gods in these ministries and governments that refuse to relinquish power to the younger community and refuse to take advice from them at the same time. Well said. Valid point. Let's go to the phone lines. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Yeah, good afternoon. What's going on, Naughty? Hey, what's going on, 52? Everything good yeah, with you? Hey, waking hard, man. He's waking the sun up to sundown. I heard you earlier today. Me and you on the same page with them body cams, man. Yeah, but, you know, the thing is, you know, I like the brother, Mr. Manu. I don't know why they all over him, right? But, you know, to be honest, you know, I live in inner city. A lot of these young cats out of their minds, man, all right? But we need the body cams, right? But I, I just want to say this, you know. Uh, 
what, what is a criminal? Because, you know, I, I, the other day there was three policemen down in Auckland caught facilitating a drug shipment, right? Then the other day, the three got locked up for the murder after the review of video. And we, all, we, we could just go to the archives in The Guardian. So the police is not infallible, and they're not sacrosanct. So what I'm saying is, let's bear that in mind for all the people who are up there. Please. You know, if you really want to, you know, see corruption and, and this uh, government in the sunshine, all that is a bunch of BS, in other words, what I'm saying, Naughty. This is, you know, I'm 58 years old. I've witnessed so much things that I cannot even say. But what I'm saying is, let's be realistic. You know, everybody trying to count the bad apples on the force. Man, come on, man. Listen, Naughty. What I'm saying is, there's an incident that happened a couple of days ago. I think the same day the guy in Nassau really is shot. Right. My brother was breaking uh, on a building in the Fox Hill area. What happened was, I don't think the person died, but there was almost a riot. And so what I was told from him was that the policeman was telling people them to stop recording. So these guys don't want no camera. And I don't know why we just don't wake up to the fact that because we are a small society and we are interwoven, that the cameras are needed and the police are so emboldened, we should we need the cameras because it could be a little personal when they're... Uh, uh, you don't want it to ever go foul and, and be yeah, in yeah. that gray area. Yep, yeah, yeah, it's always a gray area. And so we, we are all putting our head in the sand and playing like we live in this perfect place we are. And also... You know, people who work for government and the likes, police, defense, force, we, have, we know a lot of these guys are things beyond their means, man. So, you know, this, this is the point of this paradigm. And the world is moving towards a totalized military rise uh, 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 regime on the global sheet because the book COVID-19 and the Great Reset did mention that most governments have the option to be more uh, totalitarian or more e- egalitarian. And so all of these agendas by the e- economic uh, forum and, and the sustainable development about getting rid of poverty and the population comes, and all of those are farces. I listen to Chivago Lang also, and I agreed with Chivago, which I don't normally do, but I agree with Chivago <laughs> today because he gave the demographics and everything. And so I, I, even before he gave some of the information, I knew that per, 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 per capita, per 100,000, we have more police force than most of the world. So it's not about getting more police. If we are in a financial state, you keep bringing on more police, more police. That, that doesn't work, man. You have to refine your resources. And that last extra is brilliant. Let's follow what they said. The answers are within us. Have a good day. All right, man. Thanks for, for 52. Good, um, good chiming as always. Let's go to the phone lines again. Talking heads. Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? All right. Well, with that being said, oh, well, here's the caller again. Talking heads. Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? What's going on? I can make you, I can make you laugh right now. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I watching the the, the handing over. Of uh, the conditional belief, uh-huh. just, just swearing in. But I don't see minutes. Why you want to see minutes? Why are you looking for minutes? <laughs> minutes get I, fired. I, I mean, see, I see former um, uh, Prime Minister Ingram and Mr. Christie sitting together having a good laugh. Uh, well, he wasn't part of the the, the, the law firm of Christie Ingram and Go uh, or, or Christie Davis but, Ingram and, and or it's, whatever. It's Davis was here. Davis was being right sitting next to them. But now I see minutes. Well, that's the law firm. Minister, why he isn't there? Well, that's, that's the law firm. You know, I, I you, you want me to tell you why he ain't there? <laughs> I, I remember when we had Hurricane Dorian. Uh-huh. I remember, you know, Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Christie, former Prime Minister Ingram both reached out. Yep. Said, let us lend a hand, let us, you know, do what we could do and use our influence within the region to, to you know, facilitate a recovery and so on and so forth. Uh-huh. Which, if you look at other... Places other around countries, the world. You take the United, United States. They always United have States, all the presidents The together. former presidents bounce in when they want. Hey, move That's on right. the side. I'm here. Like Bill Clinton show. Hey, good to see you. Joe Biden, move on the side. I'm here to help. Hillary will do the emails. I'll make some phone calls. We'll work it out. They show up. They help. So that was yeah. a pretty good Bill Clinton right there. And like I said, and when you think about it, look at Mr. Finland, mm-hmm. uh, Ingram, Christie. Yep. Like and I said, Davis. he didn't reciprocate. And four you know. of them were, about three of them were law partners one time ago. Well, obviously, you know, that that was the great PR, um, press opportunities and photo ops. That, 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 that there was a big help to, to Mr. Davis on the campaign trail after the, you know, after yeah, Prime yeah. Minister, the, the current, the, the former Prime Minister, Dr. Minister was like, no, we don't need your help, guys. Thanks, but no thanks. You they know, did what they had to do. And I remember when Christie, I think it's either the uh, Ingram said this. He said one thing with Christie, he ain't a steal. He said maybe some of the folks trying, but not Christie. He ain't have a sign and nothing. Nope. 
Okay. But, All right, Nardi. No, but um, you know, I, that was a good reference that you made, though, and, and, and a good point that you made. It, it's very conspicuous um, by its absence, you know? And I'll be honest with you, when you talk about the former prime ministers, Christie and Ingram, they remind me of Stadler and Waldorf. You remember from the Muppets, Kermit? You remember the two old dudes in the balcony from the Muppets? Who's get off on everybody and just throw things at people? <laughs> That's them two right there. Anyway, I digress. Let's take a quick break. All right, on the flip side of the break, out of the break, we'll be talking sports. Earl of Pearl will be chiming in. Peter Rahim will be chiming in. We got Today in Sports coming up, all brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. We got the Home uh, Court, all brought to you, of course, by Burger King Nassau. And Who's In and Who's Out, all brought to you, of course, by Tropical Gyros coming up in the first portion. And at the bottom of the hour, don't forget, I got my Pro Picks coming up, all brought to you, of course, by the Island Game. So keep it right here where you got it. Talking Ads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM continues right after this. of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, Commonwealth Bank's friendly staff are always available in branch for that personal one-on-one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. Bank the way you want. When faced with an illness like cancer, we band together and we're back. From advanced cancer treatments to extra safety measures at all of our locations, we're with you on this journey. For every infusion and follow-up, for every step of the way, for every care in the world. Cleveland Clinic in Florida. Get the care you need when and where you need it. To learn more or connect with a local representative, Visit clevelandclinic.org slash Caribbean. With fine style with elegant taste, then fine threads is your place. If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist, then fine threads is your place. If you want to look suave and heaven there everywhere you go, like you're supposed to be in a video. Want to step out and look great? Then fine threads is your place. With fine style with elegant taste, then fine threads is your place. This is your place. This is your place. The Cotton Tree on Bernard Road has a deal for you. Distributor of the affordable Super Can Dog and Cat Food. Mothers. We also distribute Bumble Poppers, the most inexpensive in the Bahamas. Plus wipes, powdered and liquid detergents, disinfectants, and the delicious Max Fly Energy Drink. The Cotton Tree Convenience Store on Bernard Road, Fox Hill. Open from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. Call us at 364-6249 or 805-5679 for more information. We're going to give you a check every week for a year. Percy Spencer Plan. Island Game keep you in it. Percy Spencer Plan. Dream big, we will help you live it. Percy Spencer Plan. Island Game, we got you. Percy Spencer Plan. From the friends you can trust. It's winning is a must. Come play the game you know, cause your best chance is with us. The most trustworthy name is Percy's Island Game. So put 20 on your account and ride this easy train at Percy's Island Game. The King wants you to take a walk on the tangy side with the all-new Zesty Whopper collection at Burger King Nassau. Enjoy the classic Zesty Whopper with two types of cheese, Zesty sauce, and crispy onions stacked on 100% flame-grilled beef. Or go Zesty on our plant-based Whopper and crispy chicken. All three are saucy, crunchy, and full of flavor. And only available at Burger King Nassau. Visit any of our seven locations and enjoy a Zesty Whopper as a combo or as part of the King's Feast at Burger King Nassau, where taste is king. Catch him talking ads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Mr. Producer, 
Yeah, yeah, dolphin brethren, Pearly will be checking in shortly. Keep an eye out for Pearly, eh? You're all two dolphins. Ah, oh, Lord. You all been nine games this year, you're lucky. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. That's another story for another day. Sliding into the sports right now, right here on Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. And uh, right now, we got to get in today in sports, or into today in sports, all brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. Well, worth a trip out there to the Old Fort Shopping Plaza, Monday through Friday. Great for lunch and dinner. Then on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, great for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And don't forget, happy hour every Wednesday and Friday, 5 to 7 p.m. at Naughty Johnny's. They have a different uh, special daily for their lunch as well, Monday through Friday. Give them a call, 377-7776. See what they got going on for you tonight and chef up for tomorrow out there at Naughty Johnny's. Always worth the trip out there to the old Fort Shopping Plaza. All right, today is Tuesday, July 5th, 2022. Today in sports history, 1947. Larry Doby, pinch hit for the Cleveland Indians against the Chicago White Sox. The event made him the first black player to play in the American League. 1975, Arthur Ashe became the first African-American man to win a Wimbledon singles title when he defeated Jimmy Connors in four sets. 1997, Martina Hingis, at age 16, became the youngest Wimbledon winner in 110 years when she beat Jana Novotna in the women's final. 1998, Roger Clemens of the Toronto Blue Jays got his 3,000th career strikeout. 2005, Roger Federer won his 15th Grand Slam tennis title. Sports quote of the day, if you, you're the one who comes up on the short end, Julius Irving, Dr. J. And that's a wrap on today in sports, all brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. You got Earl the Pearl chiming in? We got Pearly in yet? He zoomed in? Is, is Pearly Good there? Man. Good morning, man. It's Sitting on the bench, waiting to get a bat. What's going on there, Erlito Perlito? What's going on? What's happening with you? My dog is slowly pulling away from the field, slowly. Slowly, like how my Yankees are, 13 and a half in front, like that? Robust pull away or not just that robust pull away? Like a full pull no, away or just a minor pull? We're taking our time because we done had our little slump. You see, you're waiting on you guys. What, to have a slump? To even out. I'm not going to even out, Purdy. We're good, man. I mean, you, you, have to, you have to accept what's coming. What's coming is, what's coming? is a long Yankees run. Run where? Run to, a, to number 28. Hey, hey, we- they redid the locker rooms to move the bathroom further down the road. Listen, man, we are going to make our run for 28. What are you talking about? Earl, we're 58 yes, and 22, a 725 winning percentage, a 13 okay. game lead over the Boston Red Sox, a 14 and a half okay. game lead over the Toronto Blue Jays, a 15 game okay. lead over the Toronto Blue Jays, a 21 and a half game lead over the Baltimore Orioles. Okay. The Los Angeles Dodgers, on the other hand, a robust 50 and 29, a 633 mm-hmm. winning percentage, but yet uh-huh. only a four and a half game lead over San Diego, a nine and a half uh-huh. over the San Francisco Giants, 14 and a half uh-huh. over the, the Arizona, and 15 and a half over the Colorado Rockies. And what is a very weak yeah. division of baseball? Not, oh, strong, really? not strong like the, the American League East. You're serious? Where only one team is under 500. Okay. I see two teams under 500 in, 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 in the West, possibly even three. Does so it you, make it a weak team or does it make it a competitive league? It's a weak team in a weakly competitive division. Really? So, you're weak all the so way around, that, is what okay. I'm saying. You said there's only, I'm going to use, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got. You're looking at the stats, I'm telling you. There's only one team under 500 in the American League East. That is the Baltimore Orioles. Fine, fine. But you've got more. But teams there's two. In the American League. There's no, two in the National one. League West. The Arizona Diamondbacks, 36 and 44, and the Colorado Rockies, 35 and 45. And I'm not just, knocking that. 
But you got, but you've got more teams in the American League that are under 500 than in the National League. But I didn't talk about in the entire league. I'm talking about the divisions, my brother. Yeah, but, but they ain't playing. Everybody ain't playing. They play in other divisions. They play in other teams. That's They're fine. Like total five. That's fine. Right you now, know, though. I know a team. I know a team had 107 wins last year. They didn't even make it to the National League uh, finals. Who is that? Some team that north of Los Angeles. North of Los Angeles. Yeah. Be a more specific. Something that has um, a lot of wine in their region. Guys and girls, you know. Have <laughs> 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 an NBA championship team. Yeah, uh, that, 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 that team up there. Have a Bahamian coach in first base? Oh, it's a third. Is it first? Yeah, first base, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, the Dodgers, you got you got you got your division, but but how long can you hold off San Diego? Do you think those last two games that they won against you break the, the streak? You won sixteen before before they finally won the other day. Do you no, no, think no, no, that no, that's no, a new streak no, down no, in their no, favor? No, 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 no. We had a four game series of them over the weekend. We took three out of the four. They scored two runs. They scored they, they scored a total of four runs in the first three games and four runs in the four in the last game. They averaged two runs in a game. We've beaten them. But yet you get critical over my Yankees' times. lack of hitting in, in our recent, you know, malaise period. I don't get you, and man. You know? The team, no, no. The, team, look at now. The, the Yankees are a very, very good team. A team that's capable of making it to the World Series. Winning it, if they play the Dodgers, no. If they play somebody else, maybe. But the point about it is they have to stay healthy, and I'm scared because they've not. They, they've been relatively healthy. Other than Chapman, they've been relatively healthy all season, which is a good sign. But I just, just you don't stay healthy. Everybody don't stay healthy all season. It's scary. Indeed. But we need to get so, it into the into the home court right now there, Pearly. So we'll be here. back. We'll, revi we'll revisit baseball in a little bit. But um, as you know, we got to go to the home court. And the home court is all brought to you, of course, by Burger King Nassau. All about that Zesty Whopper. Yes, the Zesty Whopper. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. All right? You can get it uh, flame grub beef, crispy chicken, or the plant-based variety. And it's all good. Saucy, crunchy, and full of flavor. Get it by itself. Get it as a combo. Like I said, it's waiting on you at your favorite Burger King location, uh, Burger King Nassau location for takeout, drive through and delivery with the Craven app. And if we look at the home court, it's basically one thing that is just making the headlines. Obviously, last night from, you know, Bahama Convention Center, some basketball was played there, Pearly. And our team Bahamas went down to the Dominican Republic, 88 to 80. I mean, buddy, nonetheless, buddy they, on they, yeah, they buddy, made a run in the fourth quarter. Sheldon they Longley made a run in the did the story. Sheldon was in attendance. Yeah. That's why when I got there, you know, all the press pass was done take up. But he's a fellow Yankee, so I can live with that. <laughs> but yeah, Buddy put on a show 29 points. They lost, though, 88 to 80 to the Dominican Republic. But they still, they, they still made it, right? They yeah, the Bahamas finished with a 2-4 a, a and four win loss record in Group C of the qualifiers, third behind Canada, 6-0, and oh, and the Dominican Republic, 4-2. and two. The top three teams in each group advanced to the second round, which gets underway in August, and Canada, the Dominican Republic, and the Bahamas will be joined by three other nations in a new six-team group. It's, a high, it's as high as Bahamian basketball has ever been on the senior side and a major accomplishment for team sports in the Bahamas. So it's the, the highest I've ever oh, been there, Pearly. And I know you can appreciate that. I can. Because so, you've, so you, you've seen a lot of Bahamian basketball three. teams play internationally, but none yeah. have played to the, to, the, to the high level of, of this crew right here. This is the highest that we've seen them. In terms of this team, yes, yes, yes. So... Six teams, though. Three more going to be added to that pool. You got Canada, DR, and the Bahamas. I wonder who else will add to that pool. Very Kansas interesting to see. Exactly. Sitting here wondering who that might be. 
Let's check and out. Some... Obviously, it's probably coming. It's probably coming from another another region. That they, maybe they're top three. But yeah, but none. Yeah, and probably that's probably most likely what it's going to be. But it's good to know that they advanced, even though it was an eighty-eight to eighty loss. They played the DR tight. Still, we don't have everybody there or on the squad like we want to. So obviously, you know that um. So who will we miss? Who will we missing? Had a couple of people injured. Some people who played the last game didn't play this game. I got a full breakdown of who, who was in and who was out. Bahama put it on yesterday, though. And don't forget uh, they, they, uh, how Bahama Hoops will be making a return to the shores of the Bahamas for a second consecutive year, November 18th through the 27th at the Bahama Convention Center. And the journey started with eight basketball teams under a different tournament name and location in 2017. This November, there will be 20 National Collegiate Association Division I basketball teams in action during the event. They will play 28 games over the course of 10 days. They will play 20 games over 10 days. Uh, so there you go. And this coming from uh, DB Global's Vice President of International Affairs, Josh Franklin, said they want to keep growing sports tourism in the Bahamas. So we'll That's see how wonderful. it goes. Yeah. Basketball Look, is I mean, definitely I mean, on the, the upswing. Minister made, the, minister made, the minister made some reference to that last when he was on last week, and he said that we should expect close to over 40 different basketball teams in the country over the summer over different over for the rest of the year in some different tournaments. Something right. like that. I'm correct. And how about this? There are going to be eight women's teams that will play in the Pink Flamingo tournament at Bahamar. And this is, you know, this is going on almost the same time that Bad Boy Mowers Battle for Atlantis goes on with the men and the women's. I, I think the women own begins. I think that the, the Bahama own weekend, is the weekend before or something like that. Or, or the, they both run through Thanksgiving. Both, both run through Thanksgiving. So it's it's a good luck to have a oh, lot okay. of teams in the country okay. at the same time. Obviously, we all know what, what Bad Boy Moore's Battle for Atlantis is. It's the premier preseason tournament there is. But if we could get Bahama on stream, and they're doing a great job with it so far, we could have not one, but the top two preseason tournaments in all the land. Can you imagine? Who doesn't want to come to the Bahamas? Who doesn't want to come to the Bahamas? And I think that's, you know, that's the selling Who Come and enjoy, oh. enjoy the beaches, play some basketball, hoop it up, and paradise. Which basically you, you can do. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see. And now, like I said, um, check this out, Earl. There's going to be eight women's teams okay. that are going to play in the Flamingo tournament, including four teams from the SEC. One of those teams... The University of Mississippi Ole Miss, the Rebels, is coached by Bahamian Yolette McPhee McQuinn. Coach Yo. Wonderful. Super. So that's a good look. The other three SE teams are the University of Kentucky Wildcats, University of Alabama Crimson Tide, and the University of Missouri Tigers. The other four schools that are going to be in the Plink Flamingo Tournament are the Drayton University Flyers, the Virginia Tech uh, Hokies, the University of Utah, and Wake Forest University. The Utah are the Utes, okay. and Wake Forest University are the uh, Demon Deacons, I think. Okay. Look at Naughty with the strong mascot references on uh, Talking Heads today. Very underappreciated, you know, Earl. I just want to let you know that. Okay. Thank you. Good stuff. Okay, thank you. Good stuff. That's it? That's all. I bet you, didn't know, I, I bet you didn't know that, that the Wake Forest was the Demon Deacons. You really, you really going to say that to me, Naughty? You really going to say that to me, Naughty? Because you would, you would, have, you, yeah, I'm going to say that because you would have got me, you would have corrected me, or you jumped in front of me. If you would have asked, you would have been like Demon Deacons. I can put that in there because he's on a roll. Let me slide this one in. It basically let you go. Oh, 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 that's what it was? Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to show you up in front of the people. Oh, but since you want to bring it up, oh. I mean, I'm trying to be cool. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, Mr. Producer, <laughs> let's go to the break. <laughs> The second break, <laughs> so we can get back into Earl's favorite portion of the show, man. Yeah, man, who's in right. and who's out? All brought to you, of course, by Tropical Gyros. And we'll wrap that up with my pro picks for the night, all brought to you, of course, by the Island Game. And Percy's pension plan is off the chain. Oh, my goodness, 13 lucky winners going to walk away with over 244000 in cash. Get your pension for a year, courtesy of the Island Game. I'll tell you more about it all on the flip side of the break. And let's go to the break. For a pearly from our loners.
craving tasty KFC chicken and need an affordable fix? The KFC Quick Fix menu has three tasty options that are both big on taste and value with plenty of mouth-watering goodness. Try the KFC Flavor Full Box, packed with three pieces of crispy fried chicken legs and whole wings, fluffy mashed potato with gravy, corn, a buttery biscuit, and an ice-cold Pepsi for only $9.95. Get your favorite chicken fix today, only at KFC Nassau. It's finger licking good. Boy, I said going on a bad trip, dog. Partying and hanging on the family island. You lie! I telling you, Dubs. Hey, but since only enough money for one plane ticket, one of us got to fit in that bag. But look who's fit inside the bag, then, T. Well, I was thinking with the perpendicularity of the bag and the spatial structure of your body, you could have just hopped in it right quick. But T. I know, Dubs, it's it kind of small, but I can slap one handle with care sticker on the bag. No, T, I'm trying to tell you, the promotion says two fly free. That means two people could go. Two? Two. I saw it. <laughs> I can take this girl, eh? <laughs> Grab your friends and head to the Family Islands. With the two fly free campaign, there's no better time than now. Go to BahamasResidence.com for more information. When I had got prostate cancer, my family didn't know if I was going to live. Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Within days, I got an appointment. They presented me with treatment options, and you set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there are no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number, they see you as a part of family. I'm going on with my life. That's a real gift. Call us at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. George, shoes and accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy styles, we cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online. www.johnshoes.com John's also now carry small all home appliances. So come on in today at John's, where we put fashion at your feet. We're gonna give you a check every week for a year. Island Game, keep you with it. Percy Pension Plan. Dream big, we will help you live it. Percy Pension Plan. Island Game, we got you. Percy Pension Plan. From the friends you can trust. It's winning is a must. Come play the game you know, cause your best chance is with us. The most trustworthy name is Percy's Island Game. So put 20 on your account and ride this easy train at Percy's Island Game. We're back at you right here talking heads. Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, 545 p.m. is the time. And right about now, it's time to get into who's in and who's out. All right, I got your injury, your basic breakdown from Major League Baseball, NBA, and NFL. All brought to you, of course, by Tropical Gyros, the home of the original Bahamian gyros, like jerk chicken, crack lobster, crack conch, barbecue salmon, grilled veggies, and their famous jerk chicken salad. And don't forget the uh, gyro bowls as well. They're available for you. Go check them out today. They're on our Mackey and Rosetta, open until 6 and don't forget, you know, see what all the buzz is about why, you know, everybody buying up those, those stock portfolios uh, for Tropical Gyros and Arawak X. Oh, yeah. They've tasted it. They know it, how good it is. Get you some, too. Earl of Pearl. Okay. What's going yes, on? Yes, sir. Who's in and who's it's out? It's Tuesday. You got, any, you got any information on uh, the ins and the outs? The uh, 10-day uh, IL. So, but he's progressing quite well. So, hopefully, he'll just take 10, maybe two weeks exact to be out. But, um, and actually, the Marlins aren't playing too bad without him. But, yeah, um, you notice that. Yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking he's good. And, and uh, the guy of Bahamian descent was very instrumental in the Dodgers win yesterday. So Trace Thompson is in, in as a is a great player right now. He's and he's trying to make it hard to get rid of him. If uh, Rios gets back, um, as soon as Rios gets back, they they can send him right down to the minors. 
I don't know, man, because he looking, he looking, he's really, he's really hitting the cover. He's hitting, he's hitting, he's, and I'm, he's hitting for power, doubles, home runs. He's not hitting these little bloom singles. He's really hitting, hitting for the slugging percentages up. So um, he, he's wearing the ball out. Yeah, John Quell is in tonight. The 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 Suns got the Dal, uh, the Dallas Wings tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. She had a pretty good game the other night. And they 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 won in overtime. But what did John Quell do? She had a double double right the other night previous, and they lost right, and then they won in, in overtime. I'm trying. She was yeah yeah she had twenty. Uh, no no she she only had eleven points and five rebounds, but she had a key bucket in I think in the overtime or the or the tie the game somewhere around there. All right, that's good but to they, know. Though they got this, 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 you know, they they got um, this, they have pretty pretty between um, Thomas and Bono, they taking a lot of load off. So I think when it's time for her to excel, when it's time, she'll be there. They, they, they still get together as a team. As well, yeah, they did add some new pieces to that team as well too in the off season. So chemistry yeah. is a factor. Now uh, switching to the NFL. I catch the people. Them. They play. They so I catch the people. Them. You got the Dodgers don't play until ten. So I catch the people. Them tonight. Here's somebody who's out that wants to be back in. Robert Griffin the third, RG three, open to an NFL return. Quoted the saying, "I'm ready to go right now." Who is he? To John Legend. Bought on somebody bench behind the starter. Uh, RG3, I mean, I loved him as a player, but that many pop, many He's 32. Me, He's a commentator for ESPN, and he was quoted as saying, I'm ready to go right now. I train every day. I throw mm-hmm. it and work out. I know what it takes to get my body ready, and I'm doing those things. Yes, it's a little bit tougher when you are uh, flying around everywhere doing stuff for TV, but when you really want something, you make it work. So if I can get the call this year, next year, or five years from now, I will be ready to play. Okay, all right. That's all I can say. Okay, all right. Hey, you look long in the tooth, there, man. I mean, I I appreciate your bravado and all, right? But wow, RG three, you're 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 horribly long in the tooth, and you got some crazy injuries that caused you to be the bench jockey that you are. Exactly. Exactly. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. We, we, we'll it. see how it pans out. I know, I know where he won't be. So I'm, I know he won't be in Dallas and he won't be in Miami. So I don't worry about him. You know, maybe, maybe you know, Cleveland. Who, the Guardians? <laughs> maybe the Browns. The Browns don't know what they got, but they don't know who they're starting. You watch Bissett. That's what his name is. The guy who was our backup last year. Watch him be the starting quarterback for the Browns. That's the guy who's in Cleveland, right? No, Baker Mayfield was in Cleveland last year. Who, who they got there now? Baker, Baker's still there. Baker's still on the roster. Then Baker's the guy. Baker's the guy yeah, from, Baker from, from yeah. Baker's a he on that. What do you say? Baker's a he on that run. Well, we'll see. But Baker's out of there as far as you know, for all intents and purposes. That's the point. And the point is that they and, and, and Watson said they're waiting to see what this woman can do to him. She can she can lost him in suspensions or what? But what, when are they going? When the rubber going to hit the road? When are they going to get it? We can see know, exactly what they, is what. They, they, they really had on the Harry. She's she's um she's summarized, summing up, summing up the case, and she should be giving a ruling any minute. I keep checking Bleacher Report to see if something come up, but not yet. So keeping an eye on it. Oh yeah, man. I, I mean, I used to see. I mean, not that really care. I'm a damn one that does it, but it will be interesting to see. I, and, and I'm saying this, and I'm not defending anything he did. I'm not defending any because then you know if it, if he did it it's wrong. I, I believe in the sanctity and the respect of women and, 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 the, and the fairer sex. I, I, anybody believe that? You know me, you know that, but me. Um, but my whole thing about it is there have been owners like yours and others who have done similar stuff and got a slap on the wrist. That's, you know, that's what's annoying about this. Yep. Are you going quiet? Or no, no, I, I, was, I was thinking, you know, I, I ain't gonna lie. A couple of things ran through my head on now and Pearly. Dude from the dude from the, the Redskins. I keep saying the Redskins. I can get on me from the commandos or the commies or whatever that team is in Washington. This brother ducking the Senate hearings. Listen, listen. I tell you my mind. Gone, Jones, listen, listen a couple stop. Others. See, that's why I go on quiet, Pearly. Why Jerry always got to get in this? He's nothing like Snyder. Jerry has never cooked the books. Oh, no, I know that. Oh, I know that. Jerry, that you that. know, in, in his infinite wisdom, well, hey, Mr. Pearly, I make more money when the Cowboys lose, Mr. Earl, than when we win. 
<laughs> That's Jerry. I'm talking about the money thing. I'm talking the money thing. I'm talking about the 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 um the problems with the with the fairer sex. There again, Mr. Pearlie. Why are you bringing up owner's business? <laughs> That's the point. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not condoning anything. Yeah, and not, 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 go ahead, get it out of the way. You know, Jerry done had a little 25-year-old turn up that belongs to him, too, that he just did, came out publicly with. You, you want to get that out of the way, too? <laughs> you happy now? <laughs> That's what your dolphin caucus was getting at the whole time. Get it out. Get it out. Go ahead. Yes, the owner, of the, get it out. the owner of the Dallas <laughs> Cowboys about 25 years ago, he's 70-something now, so in his 50s, he had an extramarital affair of which he fathered this young lady, Okay. He's come public. He stood up. He said he's going to, you know, make it up to her, so on and so forth. And leave Jerry alone. Actually, actually, I'm not condoning. I'm not condemning him for that. I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm, I don't I, condone you know. that with Jerry. With, with Jerry did though. But I mean, other people have done it. It's yeah, not like I'm the not first time it happened in, in, in sports. I'm not condoning him having an affair. I'm not condoning having an affair. But I'm, I'm saying is glad that he's stepping up and, and owning up to his his. What he did. I, mean, I don't want to call it a mistake because I think a child is never a mistake. Yeah, but um, listen, um, man. You know? It, it's, it's between him, Robert Kraft, Snyder, Ursay Jr., a couple of them just pushing for, like, you know, the, the, the wild and crazy owner of the year award. Yeah, but my whole thing about it is, and like I said, I'm not knowing what Watson did, but, I mean, they got slapped on the wrist and this guy about to lose millions. Listen. The stuff is finished. Watson, again, is innocent until proven guilty. Cleveland's not yeah. going to make that deal early and guarantee all that money if, if, he even th if they even think he's going to jail. No, he's not going to jail. No, that part of it is finished. That part of it is finished. He's fine. He's clear. There's no, they're not pressing charges. It's, the, it's the, what the NFL is going to do, whether he's going to play this year or... Play and don't play it all this year. Again, he, he's NFL not going to sign that two hundred and fifty million guaranteed contract, and Cleveland's not going to piss Baker Mayfield off to the extent he wants to leave right now on his own for nothing. If they knew yeah. that some disciplinary like action was coming, if anything, they might give him a couple of games and call it a day. Well, the NFL is pushing hard for indefinite suspension, and the Players Association is for what. Down. You got owners. You got owners that have done things similar or just as grievous, if you want. You know, however you look at it, and that um, they got slapped on the wrist. Uh, so you know, how how can you justify that? Because you could justify it because you know any opportunity for that league to try to take back, you know, the quarterback position from the African American quarterback, they're gonna do it. Yeah, I know that. And it's sad that we still have to see it played out in 2022 the way that it does. It's not. I know. It, 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 it's, it, it, look, Deshaun Watson made mistakes. Nobody is in it saying, did this actually happen? Does he need help moving forward? Is he going to, you know, work with women's charities to, 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 you know, combat violence against women and sexual assault? Those are conversations we need to have. We having them. We having old race related, you know, money related conversations. Well, the owners do it and get away with it because they're the owners. I got you. I understand your point. I understand your point. And it and it's it's aggravating because I think it's the media that latches onto this stuff for ulterior motives. And, and, I, and I and I you know and, and, and they need I, to, I can I can do something. I can say, but let me throw it out there. I have this concern if these. Accusers are saying he's done this three and four times. My thing about it is, if you do that the first time, I ain't coming back or I report you. All right, uh, fine. The first time was the first time was a mistake. Let's say come a second time and you do it twice. You think I coming back a third time for the third mistake? That's what I don't understand about. That's why I don't understand about a lot of these things. I'm not judging anybody because, like I say, I believe uh, 
is it, you respect other people, you respect women, and that, I've always been that way, and that's why I am as a person totally respectful of them. I, I don't curse at them, I don't hit. That's, that's why the, the first thing you ask whenever you walk in any room is any gas because you care yeah, about the I women. Always, yes, but, but yes, and I always show them the respect because you want to make sure, and, and, I, and I want to know that too. So if I don't say rude and wrong things in front of them, I'll respect. And, and, and if, if there ever should be a candidate to be the next leader of the women, then. I will lobby hard for you, my brother. At least I would treat them with more respect than I, other people. I wouldn't call them the women them. Right, and I would you, call you the women. Right, and you'd have intellectual conversations with them and stimulate their mind. Yes, yes. And not, you know, you know what? If you walk, I mean, I got I got to throw this out there, right? If you walk in my house right now, the scent will knock you off your feet. My air fry is probably one of the best gifts ever. Got some chicken wings. And oh, that, I man. thought you oh, took your shoes yeah. off and it was them, 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 fun, them funyun and, 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 and toe jam. I mean, I mean, no, no, I've been walking around bare feet all day, so you got to worry about that. So, so it, it is, is, the, is the honey, honey, garlic, chicken wings. I've done. I, I, I can compete with all this, you know. The whole neighborhood knocking on the door trying to get, you know, what that is, what that is. You know, so Chip and I'm good with some other good sense too, you know. Yeah, well, I could come, I could pass through on the way home and see if if, if these, you know, wings are so good, if, if if the neighborhood is aromatic or not. I ain't gonna hold my breath. I can be right there. I could pass by. I could say, look, if you hear me say aroma, you know I could smell aroma. And if <laughs> if you hear me say some sports insult, you know I wasn't smelling your, your, your air fryer. That's all. You know, I just wanted to tell you the the. the, the 342 gentlemen who lived to the store and they said you stop shouting dogs and sucks and next time they might let you out the corner. Anyway, tell them I get shouted two times tonight. Once on the way through the corner, once on the way out of the corner. <laughs> and, and if you are really playing with me, I'll stop in the middle and yell it out too. <laughs> but anyway, let me hit them up out with my picks for the night real quick, Pearly, before I get out here. I'll brought you, of course, by the <laughs> Island Game and Percy's uh, pension plan. Uh, I got three for you tonight who I like. I like my Yankees. Over the Pittsburgh Pirates. I like that. I like. You ready for it? The Milwaukee over the Chicago Cubs. And then in the late game, I like the Los Angeles Dodgers over the Colorado Rockies. I really, really like that one too. Set it and forget it. There you have it. That's a wrap right there. On uh, today's edition of Talking Heads, the Tuesday edition, big up to Earl the Pearl for chiming in, as always, in the sports segment. Sarah Kirkby for bringing uh, the Freeport Report. And everybody who texted in, called in, and chimed in. It was definitely a hot show today. We're to do it, my Talking Heads. Have a great night, Bahamas. And remember, be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Talking Heads. Be gone.